Shabbat Shalom. This week is a double portion, the portions of Matos Masai. Matos means tribes, Masai means journeys. We're going to focus on the last portion. It's the very last portion of the fourth book of the Torah, the book of Bamidbar. Right? When all the Jewish people will join together in synagogue on Shabbat and shout together, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek, be strong, be strong and become stronger. Okay? The ending of a, of a book of the Torah means that we're ending a certain uh, uh, situation in our lives and we're getting ready to begin the next level. What's the next level? Next week we're going to begin the book of Devarim. It's the end run towards the high holidays. Uh, uh, we're, just like Moshe is preparing the Jewish people to enter the promised land, we are each of us also being prepared to end this year and to beginning the coming year. What is this thing of Masai, of journey? Okay, so, uh, so Rashi brings something so beautiful in it. It's something that affected me uh, when I first learned it many, many years ago. Why does the Torah have to mention all of the journeys when we mention them, each of them in place when they were happening in real time? And the answer is, is because uh, 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 put it all together, we have a different perspective. There were 42 journeys. Uh, when we read those together, the first 14 journeys happened in the first year of going out of Egypt. Uh, the last eight journeys happened in the very last year on their way to Eretz Yisrael. Okay? So that means that uh, of the 40 years the Jewish people in the desert, in the 38 years, they only moved camp 20 times. In fact, some of those moving camps were actually just one day. The, 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 the clouds came down, they, 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 uh, 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 the clouds went up, they made camp, right? And they were there for one, only for one night. And the next day, they broke camp again and left. Some of the journeys were for, were for these, for the camp encampments, were for 19 years, one of them was. Okay, so for years at a time. Okay, so, so the first thing that a person has to realize was that the 38, the 48 years, the 40 years in the desert, it wasn't the sun beating on their heads. It wasn't a, a sand in their eyes. It wasn't worn shoes and dirty clothes. In fact, the great, great majority of the time was sitting and studying Torah. That studying Torah is the preparation for coming into the Holy Land. And the same thing for us. A person has to focus on studying Torah to move ahead in their life. Okay, but what does the Hashem say? The Hashem says that these 42 journeys were that just like in the Jewish people when they went from exile to, to, the, to the Promised Land, from Egypt until Israel, they moved in 42 journeys. Also, each of us in the life, the history of the Jewish people, from our leaving Egypt until the Mashiach coming, was going to be in 42 journeys. You know, maybe the state of Israel, maybe the Second World War, the Holocaust, maybe with things that are going on now, each of these changes, shifts of perception, the movements in this, that is one of those journeys. But even more than that, each person in their own lives, from birth to death, going out of Egypt, was like birth, becoming the baby coming out of the womb, coming to Israel. The promised land is like a person passing away, going to Hekan Eden. Each person's life has 42 journeys. Not only that, the Bosheldo said, in each day of our life, from waking up to sleeping, 42 subtle journeys. What does that mean to us? You know, just like the journeys in the desert, some of them were long, some of them were short, some things we got to push through, just get through it, okay? Taking care of a parent or a child, some problem, an illness, something great, something terrible. You know, it's a journey. Don't let it get you down. Push ahead, okay? What about, you know, what about the fact that there were some negative journeys in the desert? person has to realize that everything is from Hashem, and they're there for us to learn, to transform, to elevate, okay? Those are the two messages to keep on mind. Number one, keep moving. Push ahead. Go from level to higher level. The second thing is know that no matter how difficult it is, God, it's all from God, and He's there. Why? So we should take it, transform it, and make it into something better. That's the message. Shabbat Shalom. Chazak, Chazak, Chenit Chazek.